This video builds on the previous tutorial, Fixture Property Basics. We will cover a number of advanced topics around fixture properties in Lightkey. The controls in the design view adapt themselves to the selected fixtures. For example, the moving heads have a color wheel, so you can only select the colors that exist on the wheel, including split colors. The LED bars mix their colors with red, green, and blue LEDs, so you can choose any color using the sliders for hue, saturation, and brightness. When you click the arrow, you can also add a white and amber. Depending on the size of your screen and the design view, the sliders for white and amber may appear below the color sliders. Light Key lets you even assign properties to fixtures of different types. For example, we can select both the moving heads and LED bars and pick a color. Light Key automatically calculates the matching RGB values for the LEDs. Here's another example. The upper moving heads have a pan range of 540 degrees. The moving heads below have a pan range of only 300 degrees. We can select all moving heads and click a position. Light Key calculates the correct pan and tilt channel values for each so they all point in the same direction. Light Key lets you easily copy and paste properties between fixtures. Let's change the color and gobo of the first moving head. Then we copy the properties to the clipboard. We can copy any single property that is currently defined or all defined properties. Let's paste the properties to these two moving heads. You can copy properties even faster by pressing Command Option C to copy and Command Option V to paste. Or click a property's name in the design view or HUD and choose Copy Properties or Paste Properties to copy and paste a single property. Copy and paste even works between fixtures of different types. For example, let's change the LEDs to blue. When we copy the color to the moving heads, Light Key picks the closest matching color on the color wheel. Beyond the standard properties, some more complex fixtures have so-called custom properties that are specific to the device. Custom properties appear in the design view. For example, this property controls a moving head's built-in movement macros. This property controls the movement speed. Custom properties don't appear in the preview. Since they are specific to the fixture, Light Key doesn't know how they affect the light beam. If you have many types of fixtures, the design view may become quite full. In this case, you can hide custom properties that you don't need or rearrange them. Here, you can deselect the properties you don't need or change their order. Finally, let's take a look at two special kinds of fixture properties. Some fixtures have a command property which sends a command to the fixture, for example, a reset. This property is special because it can't be defined or stored in presets. To send a command to a fixture, click on its name, select Send Command, and select a command. Which commands are available depends on the fixture. Another special fixture property is the Lamp property, which switches a fixture's lamp on or off. Light Key automatically turns the lamp on when you open a project, so you rarely need to do this yourself. The lamp property is only visible if your fixture supports it. Like the command property, it can't be stored in presets.